are, folks. Part three, smoked sockeye mushroom caps. Wonderful, beautiful, versatile, a couple of ingredients that you can and cannot, may not want to, but I'm gonna do it this way and well, we'll have some fun doing it. Here we go. First thing, we wanna saute some mushroom caps. And the first thing we're gonna do is we need to put a couple of big heaping tablespoons of butter. Okay, we just wanna get that butter nice and hot, bubbling there. And we wanna brown these mushrooms off. So just kinda of get a little bit like that, turn them around, get them a little, a little moisture on top of them. We're gonna brown these guys off. And when it's all said and done, we're going to bake them. Okay, so we're using 18 here, but really the recipe, you only need 16 but I happen to have 18, so I'm doing 18. And um, as you saw before, we popped those stems out of those mushrooms. You just, and don't throw those stems out because they're great for other dishes. Um, just don't need them in this dish, but gosh, they're great for making omelets, um, great on pizza, so never throw those stems out. All kinds of flavor in them. You can see they're just starting to brown a little bit. We're gonna flip these guys a few times. Look at that. Okay, so you see they're all browned off. Look at that, just like that. Like so, we don't wanna cook them too much, but they're just enough to soften them up and brown them up. Beautiful. Okay, so folks, here we go. Using the same pan with all that mushroom flavor still in there. Okay, we're gonna do another two tablespoons of um, butter and get that going. And we don't wanna burn it. It's just about ready, it's bubbling there. And then what we wanna do is put two tablespoons of flour. And this is really important. This is just, and I'm gonna use a whisk for that. And here it goes, you see it's starting to lump up a little bit. And here we go. We need, as soon as it starts to lump up like that, we're gonna pour a half a cup of heavy cream in there. Just like so. Again, start stirring that. You gotta pay really close attention to this. You don't wanna burn it. See it start to bubble like that. Lumps are okay yet, it'll smooth out in a second. And then, remember I told you to keep your lobster broth or any of your seafood broths and freeze them? We need two tablespoons of that. There you go. Add that in there. And lastly, when it gets really, really hot, we're gonna put some vermouth in here. We're only gonna put like a half a tablespoon in here, but we're gonna put it in there. We need it nice and hot. And then we're gonna cook this down. This is what we call the roux. See it bubbling there? That's what you want. Like so. Need a little less heat now. Oh yes, look at that. Ooh. Smell that, okay. Now, just a bit. Just about like that. Dribble or so of the ver vermouth and thin this out. That's what it does. Gives it a whole different flavor, and that's what we want. Okay, so on top of that roux, we placed the smoked salmon. It's all chopped up very fine. I've got about eight ounces in there. And then we're going to take this fresh grated Monterey Jack cheese. I'm gonna get that guy all in there. About a cup and a half in here. And then what we need to get is we're going to take some, now this is optional, but I've got some beautiful chopped cho Thai chilies. I didn't put a lot, just a little bit. And we wanna get a little bit of smoked paprika in there. And just a couple, just a a little sprinkles of cayenne pepper. And now, a little bit of fresh chopped chilies. Look at that. Can we let's shake it, don't waste it, just taste it. Can we let's shake it, don't waste Last it. Last but not least, just a, just a tad, tad of salt and pepper. And we just, we don't want to overcook this. We just want to get it melted. And that sets us up for our next stage. And we have to make a little baronese now. Three egg yolks, 
we want to go with one and a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice. I've got some dry thyme here, one, a half a teaspoon of dry thyme, one and a half teaspoons of cider vinegar. We have a half a cup of melted butter, and I'm cheating because instead of drizzling it all at a little bit at a time, I'm just doing it all at once. Beautiful. Look at that. Baronets. Okay, so here we go. We're just getting ready to fill these guys up with this beautiful stuffing, these mushroom caps. Just put them in there and don't worry about overfilling them. They're going to be beautiful. Just get them in there like that, like so. Oh, yeah, look at that gooiness. Mm -hmm. Now I use a Monterey Jack cheese, but you could use Jarlsberg. You could, there's a whole pile of different uh, kinds of cheeses. You could use an extra old cheese if you wanted. Um, I just like the gooiness of uh, this Monterey Jack cheese. So, so now we just want to paste some of this Baronese over the top. Not too much, just get it on there. You just don't want to dry it all out, the salmon all out. And there we go, folks. Into the oven we go. Hey folks, well here we are at the end. Last uh, appetizer, what a decadent one it is. Um, pairing it with a beautiful uh, Monterey wine from California. Uh, delicious, has citrus notes to it, a ripe apple and, and a vanilla uh, note. Just beautifully paired with this dish. Uh, I have to tell you, uh, this is an amazing dish. You'll woo your guests with, and all the flavors to come together with this amazing wine. So. Give it a try. I know I will right now. No words. Buttery. Mushroom. The picante, mild picante note. And now with this wine. Oh my God. I think we should make Christmas every day. Put it on your bucket list. You need to try this. Simply delicious. I hope you enjoyed and well, come back and, and remember to, when you look at this show, please like, share and, and uh, subscribe. It does help and well, we appreciate you listening in and we'll see you all next week. Cheers. <laughs>